okay so first we will see about demos so demos is a double diffused mosfet power mosfet okay so demos is a fed structure created specifically for high power applications so the by the name from the name demos don't into don't uh, think it is a conventional mosfet it is actually double diffused power mosfet okay and the name d indicates it is going to be fabricated by from the double diffusion process and demos has a very uh, DMOS plays a very vital role in many applications like high voltage and high frequency behavior like inkjet, printhead, power supplies and automobile consumer control electronics. So where, when high voltage, when you need devices to operate in a very high voltage, there you can use DMOS. So DMOS will be very, very helpful. So the structure of DMOS is shown here and you know that uh, the DMOS is grown through a double diffusion process. So you can see here you have a substrate, you have an uh, N plus uh, substrate, N plus source. Okay, N plus. Uh, see the bottom you have the drain region. The P type substrate is an N plus source connected kind of diffused through a common window defined by the edge of the gate. So see here you have a, a gate and source, and below the gate and source you have the N plus and P type base. Same way here also N and P type place. And you have a channel between the source, between the source and the drain. And the drifting uh, space is uh, doped by N type and it is grown or grown on an N plus uh, substrate region. Okay, the P substrate region is diffused deeper than the N plus source. So see here the P type will have a larger the P type will have a larger diffusion uh, depth compared to your N plus. N plus is very small and P type you have a larger diffusion. This is double diffusion. You are growing two layers. The two layers are diffused uh, and they are separated from each other by a very small distance. So the surface length is defined as the lateral diffusion distance between the P substrate and N plus source. So the uh, channel length is effectively the length between the P substrate and N plus source. The so electrons outside the source terminal will flow through the inversion layer under the gate to the N drift region. So electrons will be flowing like this because you have a drain here and always you know that the drain current will flow from source towards your drain. So the electrons outside the source, they will laterally uh, through the inversion layer so they will go inside like this and they will come out through the channel. So they, the electrons will be uh, from the source terminal. They uh, laterally flow through the inversion layer under the gate to the end drift region. So the end drift, this is going to be your channel. The complete, see the channel is very wide so that you can accommodate a larger amount of drain current. So when the drain current is going to be very, very large, the power output is also going to be larger. So electrons will laterally diffuse to the layer below the gate and then go into the channel. So the channel is the region between the source and drain where actually the majority carriers are going to create a path for their movement. So the electrons flow vertically through the end drift to the drain terminal. So as I indicated, the electron movement is vertical here. Okay. Since we have grown the layers in a vertical way, the electron movement is also vertical. But convinced, this is the direction of flow of electron. So you know when the direction of flow of electron is known, you can know the conventional current flow. So this is the conventional current flow. Conventional current flow is opposite to that of the flow of electrons. So the conventional current will flow from drain to source. The actual current because of electron is going to flow from source to your drain. The most important characteristics of DMOS is their breakdown voltage. So any device operating at a very high voltage and power, we have to know the characteristics of the device. And one such parameter is called as breakdown voltage. So the response of DMOS is similar to BJT due to high voltage and high frequency characteristics. So you have a, uh, below the source, you have N plus and P type. N plus is heavily doped, but you can see the drift region is uh, lightly doped because it has to ensure a very high breakdown voltage. So the drift region between the source and drain is very lightly doped. It is just uh, N, but outside other the outside uh, uh, outside surrounding the regions of N type regions, you have N plus N plus here, right? So the drift region is having a very very uh, lighter amount of doping which will ensure that the device will have a very high breakdown voltage and as you said electrons are going to flow in the vertically downwards 
Moreover, the drift region must be moderately low so that the drain breakdown voltage is sufficiently large. So if you want the device to operate in a very high voltage and also to ensure safer breakdown voltage of the device, the uh, drift region must be very, very lightly doped or to some extent you can say it has to be moderately doped. It should not be very highly doped. If the drift region is very highly doped, then the device cannot operate at high voltages. And the thickness of the drift region should be as small to minimize the drain resistance. You know R is equal to rho L by A, right? So the length of the drift, uh, drift region should be smaller. Area should be larger. So the length has to be small and the area should be large only. Then the resistance will be less. The resistance is less. More drain current will be flowing through your device. Okay. So this is about DMOS. It is a double diffused power MOSFET uh, which is specifically used for uh, high voltage and high frequency application. And the name DMOS is coming because it is, a, it is fabricated by a special process called as double diffusion.